Well now. Your killer has been slain. Rest well, stranger. A fellow adventurer need to know the lie of the land? My prices are competitive. Yes, all right. Now, show me your map. There is a place here. What? Dark spirits torment?
Phew, that's better. I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only these... I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only these holy reverberations remain. The work of good souls who have the earth in their heart will forever be tied to our ancestors and our Lord via this gateway.
Here, I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending... Here, I believe, is where the Nephilim place sacred stones to guard the Chattel of God from other giants. Those present were scared by demons, and God defended the pious, sending the giants away. Only these holy reverberations remain. The work of good souls who have the earth in their heart will forever be tied to our ancestors and our Lord via this gateway. something. Light and heat.
been so bored in here. Who is this witch that locked you in? A horrible old hag who wants to make me into rabbit stew. Thanks for helping me get out of here. This mess. The house has been affected. Who is this? I fooled her. I told her you were a witch and you were going to eat me for supper. Well, that's a fine how do you do. It will take me weeks to put this place in order. <laughs> we had a grand time. I am no witch. I am the kindest, sweetest mum to ever <laughs> You're not to pick your nose. Thanks, stranger. Back on sight here.
Give all the See you, old friend. Have a look, Sunan. Smell that, Chailbert? I die. Ivar, Chailbert. Hey, Ivor. I was telling the Aetherling here that Thor is with us this day. Our victory is assured. So, what is your plan? That bastard Anir commands this hamlet. So let us show these folks what happens when a village bows to the Britons. Smash it to kindling, burn it to ashes, and cut Anir's tender throat. Right, my boy? I hope to fight well, not cruelly. The cutting of throats I leave to you. Enir is the Britain's best warrior. If he dies a brutal death, Rodri will think twice about fighting back. Oh, my blood runs hot. Let us rush in now and leave a trail of bloody kindling. A stealthy approach might earn us more time. Ah, I prefer sound and fury. But do as you must. I want to go in quietly. No point in bringing every armed Briton down on our heads. Am I to stand here drooling like a village idiot waiting for your success? Chailbeth, listen to this old man's stories and wipe his drool for him. I am not a patient man, Eivor. Put these dogs down quietly, or I may just join you the way I did in Letterchester.
We will stay behind and draw runes in the dirt. But do not take long. My blood is up. Aid me. Be my eyes. Are you not done? Have you stopped to nap? Enough! I will have blood! Ivar! Gods, Ivar. You're a rabbit hound. Should rid this place of soldiers. Less support for Rodri. Should rid this place of soldiers. Less support for Rodri.
It's new leather! Get a good view of our handiwork, Jailbert. Join us, Eivor! Eivor! Did you see Jailbert fight? He is all balls now! I give thanks for victory, and ask penance for taking lives. Ah, oh, Jailbert, your god bores me to death! Have a laugh! We won! And I took no pleasure in it, Ivar. Eivor and I were made for this, my boy. The Song of Swords, the blood mist, the bone crunch and baring of teeth. Is this enough blood paid, Ivar? We have spilled enough to slake the thirst of Fenrir. Why stop there? Jailberth, I would know your mind on all this. Are you satisfied with our victory? I... I believe I am. I'll need word from Rodri as soon as possible. What does he intend? He will see the flames. He will know Westbury has been destroyed. The bleeding pus pit claims only a dragon can defeat him. We will soon put that to the test. It is peace we want, Ivar. 
not revenge. If you cannot accept that, return to Repton now. You do not know Rodri as I do, Eivor. You do not know what a slippery, lying shit he can be. Enough talk of killing. I need a moment of calm. You need mead. No, Ivar. True calm. A walk in the woods to clear the air. Or fishing. Would you go fishing with me? Fishing, huh? Looking for a warm puddle to dangle your worm in? I saw a small pond nearby. Will you come? We can all take a moment to allow our blood to cool. It's just up here. Eivor, the silver you gave me in Quatborn. I traded it for a gold ring. At least the silver gave you happiness, bought me none. The ring is from the Levant, inscribed with a prayer to some god. What is their Valhalla like, I wonder? Here will be good. Let's fish for eel. Dale have relishes nettle soup cooked with eels fresh from the water. I will not fish. You go ahead. Hooked! Bring it to shore! Come now, you little scaled cowards. Pull on my line. What have done, Avor? An eel? Just a regular fish. Lots of hungry fish here. to shore. Come now, you little scaled cowards. Pull on my line. Another eel. Almost enough for a hearty soup. Just a regular fish. Sure. Come now, you little scaled cowards. Pull on my line. Mm. Enough for now. Bishop Dalev will be pleased. Let's go tell Ivar about our catch. Just a regular fish. <laughs> that took longer than clearing this village. We caught some eel for a feast. The bishop should be pleased. The simple fellow comes now. Ah, a strange way to celebrate victory. But then again, our Christ was a fisher of souls, was he not? Bishop, greetings. We've the makings for a delicious soup. I'm grateful, Chaelbert, but my heart is heavy. So many homes burnt. We'll be years rebuilding. You should have seen Chaelbert fight. He will be an elderman with sack and guts, fearsome and raw. I should rather be fair and just, but I take the compliment. I have sent word to the Britons. I pray King Rodri will again be open to peace, in spite of his brother's murder. It worked in our favor. Look where we landed. Britons begging for mercy like whiny pups. We set the village ablaze, yes, but peace is not guaranteed, and it will take another sort of skill to win it. Restraint. Our next steps are critical, my lords, and after what happened in Quatford, it is clear to me that Ivar should lay low. Lay low? 
After all I have done here, you tell me to dunk my head? The good bishop is right, Ivar. You have a warrior's heart, not a peacemaker's. Fuck you, wolf kissed. I know Rodri, and I know the kind of tricks he will pull. That is me warning you. If you hear me farting, that is my welcome to the bastard. You bruised his pride, Eivor. If you have some balm for it, by all means, share it. His pride makes him difficult, and his anger makes him hasty. But he is not without honest feeling. I will hunt him a great boar, I think. And together we'll roast it over a fire and tell tales of war. That should please him. Bishop, we must prepare for Rodri's arrival. Rally our men and set up a camp, just here. Peace or war will be decided, but not yet, not now. We must wait. I loathe waiting. It is all in God's hands. We can but pray and give thanks for this moment of rest. The Britons have come! The moment has ended. This way, by the Great Oak! Where is Chaelbert? He ought to be present for these talks as our future elderman. He went hunting. For wild boar, he said. That was quite some time ago, no? We cannot wait. We should settle the peace now. Lady Angharad, greetings. We come to speak of peace. We are glad and to hear it. But where is your great king? He stays at the castle at my behest. I feared his presence would inflame the cutthroat Ivar. We have confined our cutthroat to his tent. Both of us fretting over our war-hungry companions. It seems we are of the same mind. A surplus of caution never did any harm. I count this as a blessing. Perhaps then at long last we can end this war. Our peoples have suffered enough. And your proposal? We shall withdraw all our soldiers to the time-honored border of our lands. We ask only that you give us some days to collect our furnishings and leave Kausto Castle. In return, you pledge to end all hostilities as of this moment. These terms are generous. We have a truce. Truly. Praise be, this is well and quickly done. God go with you and your king, Lady Angharad. I salute you all. You waged a good war. Let us now wage a lasting peace. I stand bewildered, Eivor. In the blink of an eye, years of blood and sweat are put to an end. You have walked a difficult road, Bishop. Chaelbert must learn the good news. Will you tell him when you see him? I'll find him now.